A driver hit and killed a man and then broke into a woman's home trying to escape. The crash happened off of Farmington Road this weekend. The suspect went to court today, and our reporter Carla Castaño talked to the woman who lives in that house where police found him. Carla? Kelly, that woman, she's still pretty shaken up. She says that the suspect, well, that he left a bag in her house and it had rope, duct tape, and plastic bags inside. I didn't know if I was going to get out alive. This after Del Kovac says this 28 year old man broke into her home through this door, giving her only enough time to hide in the closet. It was devastating to have to hide in my. Bed, my closet, and then I heard him come in and, and uh, lay on my bed, and I was like two feet away. Deputies say Brian Onderdong broke into Del Kovac's house after this head on collision that killed 50 year old Marcos Castillo of Vancouver. My husband was my life, and I don't know what to do with myself now. Family members of the man accused of taking Castillo's life say he's already done three tours of duty in Iraq with the Air Force. They're shocked by the charges. He did his service, his tours in Iraq, and he was going back as a civilian contractor in Iraq. Kovac tells us several minutes passed in the closet before Onderdonk got up and she was able to escape. Just going right to that window and crashing through if I have to. Once she got out, deputies were right there and able to take Onderdonk into custody. Now the suspect does face several charges. He'll face a judge again on April 1st. In Hillsborough, Carla Castaño, Coin 6 News. Thank you.